right, what's good? What's good, man? Let's get into it. You're getting a two for one today, everybody. You know, this video short notice. It's going to be a little short video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Want to give a shout out uh, to Derek Rose in the end of his career. And, you know, anybody who uh, plays 2K would know this saying. <clears throat> there he goes, Derek Rose. Derek Rose has retired. You know, every, you know, it's crazy. Derek Rose came in the league after LeBron, after KD, I think a year before Steph, the same year as Russ Westbrook. And I think, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember. He came in what, 08, 09, somewhere around there. And retiring before all those guys. And, you know, shout out to Derrick Rose, you know, shout out to the Chicago Bulls back in the 2011, uh, back in the 2011, 2013 days when Derrick Rose was going off MVP season, going to the conference championship. Fortunately, couldn't get it done uh, any of those days. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Shout out to Derrick Rose. You know, you you, you got it. You know, Derrick Rose is one of those players you had to watch. You know what I'm saying? Derrick Rose. Is one of those players you had to watch. It didn't matter if you were a Knicks fan, a Miami Heat fan, a Boston Celtics fan, a Raptors fan, a Pacers fan, uh, a Spurs fan, uh, a Clippers fan, whatever. It didn't matter if you were a LeBron fan, a KD fan. And I'm talking about the 2000s, early 2000s. So Steph and Harden, these guys were going off. There was KD fans. There was LeBron fans. There was Kobe fans. There was Dirk fans. There was Tim Duncan fans. There were Allen, Allen Iverson was still in the league. You had Allen Iverson fans. It didn't matter who he was a fan of. Everybody liked Derrick Rose. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, Derrick, I'm trying to think of a player right now that everybody likes in the NBA. That just, it doesn't, mm, can't really think of anybody off the top of my head. Maybe Jimmy Butler. I don't really see Jimmy Butler get that much hate. Ironically, they both played together in Chicago. But, yeah, pro well, not play style wise. But it's just like everybody respects him. Everybody likes him when he's on TV. Everybody watches. But Derrick Rose, man. And, you know, it's unfortunate that the coach of my favorite team ruins your career. Hey, Brandon, Brandon, you idiot. You see this? This is what Thibodeau did. You see this? A Hall of Fame career down the toilet because a coach that you like literally ruined his career. Thibs is a piece of garbage, a receding hairline piece of garbage. You know, I highly doubt Brandon's going to be watching this video. But everybody, next time Brandon's on the pod, which is going to be around NBA season, uh, I want everybody to roast him about how he loves Thibodeau, even though Thibodeau ruined Derrick Rose's career single-handedly not, by not taking him out of that playoff series or that game. Uh, I, for, I honestly forgot, but uh, it is what it is. But uh, listen, man, Derrick Rose, you see what John Moran's doing right now? That's what Derrick Rose was times two. <laughs> Derrick Rose was that times two. I think Ja can shoot better than Rose. I'll say that. I think Ja, you know, he he has a shot. Now, granted, this is more, even back in Derrick Rose's time, they were really weren't shooting as much. But I think Ja, hmm, is Ja better than Derrick Rose? And listen, I love Ja. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get a Ja video as soon as NBA season starts kicking up. But – is Derrick Rose better than Ja? I think athleticism, talent-wise, he was. Because Derrick Rose, man, that boy, man, that dude was amazing, man. His legendary series against LeBron and the Heat, Paul George and the Pacers, DeMar DeRozan's Raptors, uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, I'm trying to think, who else in the East? The Knicks. Uh, with Carmelo and who else we had? We had that bum Jeremy Lin and Amani Stoudemire and them boys. J.R. Smith, I think, was on that team too. Uh, who else did there? Like, just honestly, the East. That whole Bulls team with Joan Kinoa, Nate Robinson, Carl Boozler, Derrick Rose. Uh, I'm forgetting who else was on that team, but, man, those were the days, bro. This is making me feel old, bro. Derrick Rose retiring, man. Can you imagine when Curry and LeBron and KD going to retire? And, you know, once again, man, I don't know. So this is his last year? Is this his last year that he just flat out retired? Let's let's look it up. 
Derrick Rose announced retirement from the Bulls, blase, blase. Uh, after 16 years, Derrick Rose has called a career. Uh, Rose, who's been waived by the message. Man, I ain't even going to cap, bro. Rose, come back for one more year, bro. Come back for one more year in Chicago. Make it happen, bro. Chicago. One more. I mean, let's be for real. There's no, and shout out to my boy T.O.P. I don't know if he's watching or not, but uh, T.O.P., bro. Listen, man, we all know the Bulls really ain't doing nothing. I don't know what y'all doing with Zach Levine, uh, DeMar DeRozan. It went to the Sacramento Kings. Cody White, cool little role player. Uh, Vucevic, is that who the center is? That center y'all got? Is he even still on the team? I don't even know. But listen, man, y'all need to have a Derrick Rose tribute. Derrick Rose needs to come back for one more year, retire as a Bull, and call it a day. Call it a day, man. It's not like y'all doing anything. Y'all going to be a playing tournament at best. Y'all can have your little playing home game tournament, give Derrick Rose his credit, and let him go out, man. But, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to Derrick Rose. Shout out to all the Bulls fans. Shout out to NBA fans. You know what I'm saying? NBA is around the corner. I think October I – th- I don't remember what day it is. I think October – one of those October 17th, 18th, one of those days, we'll see my Knicks beat the Boston Celtics. Uh, on opening day, you know what I'm saying, and NBA season's around the corner. It is what it is. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Derrick Rose. Are you guys sad to see what happens? And, you know, are you sad about his career? And here's a good question. What do you think Derrick Rose would have done if he never got injured? Do you think he would have won a championship? Do you think he would have got another MVP? Do you think he would have ended up like Westbrook, a very athletic but falling off hard? What do you think Derrick Rose would have done? RJ out.